hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to install and configure wordpress offline using zamp if you are new to wordpress and you want to learn how to design website using wordpress this video is for you now step one what you want to do you want to head over to apacheframes.org now the first thing you need is to download zamp zamp is a local server that enables you to view your website as if you are online so the first step is to download zamp zamp is free to download so what you need to do right now you want to get to apacheframes.org apacheframes.org then once you log into the site you want to hit or download if you are using windows or you are using mac you can download the zamp so what you want to do you have to download ZAMP for Windows. If you are using Windows, you just hit your download. I won't download because I already have uh, 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 ZAMP on my system, so I won't be downloading that ZAMP. So what I want to do after hitting the download, you are just going to wait patiently and you wait for your download to start automatically. Like I said, look at it, it's downloading. I, have, I already have ZAMP installed on my system, so I'm not going to download it. Now, step two, after you've downloaded it, you want to go and start your Apache. Now, this is my Apache. After downloading your ZAMP, you want to install it and follow the step to install it successfully. Now, the next step is to start your Apache and start your MySQL. Now, after downloading your ZAMP, the next thing you are going to do, you are going to start your Apache. You are going to start your MySQL. So, open your ZAMP just as you are seeing on this screen. Open it like it and start your, this place it will show start, this place will show start. So what you are going to do, you're going to hit start and you're going to hit start in MySQL. Your Apache will host your website while your MySQL will store your website information in a database you are going to create. Now the next thing you are going to do, you are going to head to wordpress.org and download WordPress file. Now WordPress file will enable you to design your website is a platform where you can design your website so the next thing you are going to do you are going to hit get wordpress then you are going to hit download wordpress 6.1.1 i already have downloaded it so i won't be downloading it again so the next thing you are going to do after downloading your wordpress now you have to head over to your local host open your zamp now you have to open your ht docs ht docs represent an online folder where you store all your information now what you are going to do you are going to copy the wordpress file you just downloaded go back to that folder localhost zam ht docs and paste that wordpress and paste the wordpress so once you are done you are going to extract this WordPress, you are going to extract the file because we don't want it to be zipped anymore. Because we want to use the file. So what we are going to do here, you are going to extract the WordPress. Now, this is the step two. Now, step three is for you to create your database because it is your database that will enable you to store your WordPress. Without your database, you cannot do anything. You cannot open any website you cannot design any website a database is a container that stores information from your website so if you are installing anything or you are doing anything or taking any action from your website it stores everything inside your database so once you are done once you are done you just have to head over and delete this zip file because we no longer need this zip file so we are going to delete it now the next thing is for you to create your database what you are going to do you want to go and type localhost slash php my admin now we want to create a database from our admin php admin backend like i said my sql it stores your information so you have to create a php database before you can do anything so once you are in your php my admin this is your database backend then create a database name i want to call it tutorial 5 tutorial file now in this place i will just take it and put it to collation now i will hit create i will hit create now we've created our database the next step we are going to do is to configure our database to our wordpress so what we are going to do here you're going to open this wordpress folder open the folder again now locate wp config sample if you don't have an editor just right click and click on open with 
choose notepad and open with your notepad but i have a code editor i'm just going to open with my sublime test now we are going to make changes to these three things we are going to make changes remember we created a database called tutorial 5 so now in this place called db user you are going to replace it with the database db name i beg your pardon in this place called db name you are going to replace it with the database name you created mine was tutorial 5. now in db user you are going to replace it with root now i will explain why i said replace it with root root is in it symbolizes empty field meaning i want to create a field later but for now create an empty feed for me so that the feed i'm going to create later i will store it inside because we are going to create an admin feed later for it so now in place of password you make your password empty because we are going to create our desired password also now for localhost leave it as it is like that now you're going to hit ctrl s and save your file now we have saved we have created our database we have installed our zam we have downloaded our WordPress and we have configured our database to our WordPress. Now we want to head over and install WordPress. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to type localhost, go to your browser, type localhost slash the name of the folder you created before. Remember the folder we, we have installed or extracted is called WordPress 6. This point that. So what we are going to do here, I don't want it to be that. So I am going to rename my folder I'm going to rename my folder to be WordPress. Now I will head over to my browser and type the name of the folder I just created, localhost slash WordPress. Now it will search if there is a folder called WordPress. Now if there is a folder called WordPress, it's going to load the folder. Now inside our folder called WordPress, there is another folder called WordPress. So you have to click it and it will load. Now in this process, it wants to search if there is a database that is allocated and configured with your wordpress if it has successfully searched and it sees that okay there is a database it will now load your wordpress um, installation now you want to click on english now you want to click on let's go now you want to repeat the database this is how you configure your database right now so the database we created was tutorial 5. now our username was root our password was empty our local host was still the same, local host, and leave the rest. Now you want to hit submit. Right now it will search and look if the database you, you are writing right now collate with what is on the database uh, table. So once it successfully gets it, it will ask you to run the installation. So right now we are running the installation to our WordPress. Woo! Now we've run the installation and it worked. So now you want to put the name of your website. What name do you want to use for your website? Now, I want to use student tutorial. My, my username, I want to use admin. My password, I want to use admin. Now, for the sake of security, you have to put a very strong password. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using a, a, a weak password. So I'm going to click confirm use of weak password. Now, your email, if you are working online, you have to put a working email because this is the email people will use in contacting you. But for the sake of working offline, I'm going to use a random mail so what i'm going to do here i'm going to click install wordpress so you wait for your wordpress to install about maybe a minute or so and we are done so the next thing you're going to do now we are going to log into our admin dashboard remember the password we just created right now admin admin now we log into our admin dashboard so this is how you create and you configure your wordpress this is how you create and configure your WordPress. So this is your admin dashboard. This is where you carry out all activities from your admin dashboard. And if you know you've not watched my tutorials on how to customize your admin dashboard, how to you know make use of all these uh, um, uh, um, menus you are seeing there, check the video that you are seeing up in this um, very video and check how to customize your WordPress dashboard. If you find any value in this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload or we upload any video of this such, you will not miss out of it. Thank you very much.